Okay, welcome to chapter 3, Equilibrium. Just a quick overview here. We're going to look at equilibrium in two dimensions. That's is section A, and then in equilibrium in three dimensions, section B. So this course is called statics. Now, what is statics? Well, we probably described it in the earlier chapters, but it deals with the description of the force conditions necessary and sufficient to maintain the equilibrium of engineering structures. Okay? So, what does equilibrium mean? It means that there is no acceleration. Okay? It, it's either the velocity is zero, right? Or, <clears throat> sorry, the velocity is zero or the velocity is constant. Right? The acceleration is zero. And this is actually can be applied, this concept is applied to both translation and rotation, right, when we're dealing with bodies. So equilibrium, statics, deals with the equilibrium of bodies. Okay, like, uh, like a structure that's not moving, right, a car that's standing still, or, or objects that are moving at a constant velocity. But primarily in this chapter, we, we don't look at uh, constant velocity, we would look at um, stationary objects, statics. Okay. So in, in the previous chapter, we looked, we, we really developed our understanding of forces, moments, couples, and resultants. And we basically learn how to calculate resultant forces and resultant couple moments. Okay. Ignore the zero, the equal zero here. This is what we focused on. We focused on taking a, a complicated system with multiple forces acting on it, a, a body with multiple forces or a system with multiple forces, and reducing it to a single resultant force and a single resultant couple moment. Okay? We, we never said anything about whether uh, that, that sum of the forces equals zero or sum of the forces is equal to an acceleration, right? All we did was we looked at this left-hand side. How do we calculate the the resultants? Now, in this chapter, we're saying, okay, for equilibrium to be true, this these forces that we looked at, the, the couple moments that we, we looked at, they must be zero. Or conversely, if a, an object is stationary, a box lying on the floor, if it is stationary, if it, is, if it is in equilibrium, then this is what it means. It means that the sum of the forces equals zero. The sum of the, the moments equals zero. Okay. So, if, if we want to apply this force, sorry, this, uh, this, these equations, if we want to apply these equations, we first have to isolate the system and draw a free body diagram. Okay? We need to identify the body or the mechanical system to be analyzed. Now, this body or system must include all the forces acting on the body. I think students often get confused between um, forces acting by the body versus forces acting on the body. So, need to be very clear about forces acting on the body. And all the forces. If you skip one force, then the body will no longer be in equilibrium and all your calculations will be wrong. So, we need to make sure that as we isolate our system, our body, we need to make sure that we draw all the forces acting on the body. All the forces acting on the body. Okay. Now, what is a... Mechanical system. We spoke about mechanical system here. It is a body or a group of bodies which can be conceptually isolated from all other bodies. Okay, so a simple example is say now you have a car. Look at this nice drawing. And we have a trailer, for example. Okay, so the car is pulling the trailer. You decide now, is this going to be your body? 
Or will that, the entire system, be your free body? Okay, so it's up to you how you want to analyze it. But it is either a body or a group of bodies that are somehow connected. Okay, they don't necessarily have to be physically connected. But you decide what it's going to be based on how you want to analyze. Okay, we will look at more examples. The bodies may be rigid or non-rigid. They can be uh, fluid, right? can also be a fluid mass, liquid or gas. Um, and let's carry on here. So this is a very important statement. The free body diagram is the most important single step in the solution of problems in mechanics. Okay, so it is so important that we learn how to do this properly. Okay, now a quick recap on forces. Um, forces can either be contact. Okay, they can either be contact forces or forces by remote action. These are body forces, just like gravity. Okay, so either contact or body forces. They can be internal or external to the system. Okay, they um, we can define them as either applied or reactive forces and either concentrated or distributed forces okay all right so let's move on we'll see you in the next one